banking law notes by mg law today we will cover the topic clearing house page number 12 clearing house so first we will see the meaning of clearing house a clearing house is a mediator between two parties engaged in financial transaction if there are two parties and they are doing any financial transaction then the clearing house will be the mediator between them okay let's see through an example suppose this is a clearing house and these are two banks bank a bank b and there are two persons c and d d has an account with b and c has an account with a now suppose that d gives a check of 1000 rupees to c then the what c will do is c will submit that check to a in its bank now what a will do is a will submit this check in the clearing house now what clearing house will do is it will send a digital image called a truncated image of the check to b for verification now b will verify the check verify the signatures the amount in the account of d okay and other details and after verifying it will send the information to clearing house and credit the amount of a it will send the amount of 1000 to a now what a will do is credit that amount in the account of c so in this way the clearing house is acting as a mediator between a and b so what are the main roles of clearing house they help in the smooth transaction smooth financial transactions okay and second offset transactions with one another like this is a clearing house and there are two parties a b suppose a owes 1000 rupees to b and b owes 1000 rupees to a they both owe 1000 rupees to each other now they will not need to transact to one another the clearing house will offset the amount against one another and cancel it okay it will offset it so there is no need to physically transfer their account will be offset with each other okay so this helps in limiting payment settlements to net balance okay and the next main role of clearing house is simplify and facilitate exchange of checks draft bills it helps in the facilitating and simplifying the exchange of checks draft and bills okay first modern clearing house it was established in london in 1773 how is the structure of clearing house in india the clearing house at any place in india is the rbi or its branch if it's present there okay if the rbi is not present it's absent there then sbi state bank of india or its associate will be the clearing house of that that place okay in some few cases other psb public sector banks will be the clearing house of the place so the summary what will be the summary of this chapter first the clearing house meaning that it's a mediator between two parties engaged in financial transaction okay mediator okay then its main roles its main roles was smooth transactions offset transactions with one another limit payment settlements and simplify and facilitate exchange of checks drafts bills and first modern clearing house was in london 
in India, the structure was like if RBI is present, then it will be the clearing house of that place. If I, RBI is not there, then SBI. And in few cases, any other public sector bank will be the clearing house of that place. Okay, clearing house is done now. If you are interested in the PDF, you can get it from the description box or the comment box. Okay, next topic is banker's lien, which we will cover in the next video.